guys, this is the Peaky Vapor. Today I've got another uh, review, unboxing review for you on the uh, Digiflavor Drop RDA, um, which is also a squonker. It's got a bottom feed pin so you can squonk with it as well. Uh, this is designed by the Vapor Chronicles, um, very well known vape designer or tank designer if you like. Uh, so without further ado, let's crack on and have a look, see what we've got. Um, basically I ordered the gold coloured uh, version. Uh, it comes in three colours. Uh, the stainless steel main body version with black top and bottom. Uh, I presume it's stainless painted black and paint you know, for the top and bottom. Or you can have it in black for the main body with a stainless steel top and bottom. Or as I've got here, the gold version, which is more than likely just a stainless steel uh, and diced to make it look golden. So typical box, as you get with all gear these days, with a scratch and sniff on the bottom, uh, bits and bobs of instructions and contents. Uh, it's got a raised BF squonk pin, apparently. Um, which is good so that your juice doesn't suck back into the squonk bottle uh, but for the purposes of review I won't be using the squonk pin I'll just have it in the normal setup um, yeah let's get it open and have a look see what's in the box so there you go it looks quite plain there you go that's it end of review no just kidding okay so what you get is you get the actual RDA um, looking at it, yeah, it's you can see it's stainless underneath. I can anyway, because the bottom, and the top, and the top look okay. They look kind of golden, but the the main body is is golden. But you can kind of see the stainless through it, if you know what I mean. It, it's quite faint. Um, but looking at the front and the back, whichever is the front and the back, it doesn't matter because it's the same on both sides. You've got the drop laser engraved. Uh, on the top there above the airflow and uh, this is a multi-hole airflow which can be set in multi multiple configurations which I'll show you shortly how that works um, by turning the uh, the airflow controller on the top here um, looking at the base and that should obviously that's your deck which locks into position because there's two raised um, pieces of metal there which can only fit into the, the main airflow body chamber you know one way so your airflow is always going to be over your coils which again I'll show you shortly um, looking at the bottom you've got your CE mark don't vape in a bin uh, all engraved on the bottom there with some numbers batch number probably the drop and digi flavor and at the bottom it's designed by the vapor chronicles uh, you've got your standard insulated 510 pin um, which may be gold plated doesn't actually say on the box I don't think uh, and that's replaceable and I'll show you the bits in the box shortly but that's replaceable by a bottom feeding squonk 510 pin uh, to allow you to use it on a squonk device um, there's a little screw there, be careful not to lose it because you don't get a spare, but that is uh, that holds the positive posts to the deck so that you can undo them and, and, and clean the any gunk that gets stuck there. On the top we've got a Delrin uh, Goonstall 810 drip tip. Uh, I believe on the silver and the black that's actually clear, um, whereas with the gold you get the Ultim um, style one in the in the goon style but you do get the clear um, in the box you do get a clear one which again is still 810 but it's just a narrow version um, and let's get into the box and see what the other bits are that are in here he says as he tries very hard might be easier if I pull up right. okay a little foam insert there's your 810 narrow tip which is just a nice clear frosted type of uh, autumn tip I suppose if you want to call it that but it's 810 as I say 
However, in the little in the box you get your typical manual in 96 languages. And you get your little baggy, little drug bag, um, the shipload of O-rings, you get your T-shaped screwdriver, you get an 8 a 510 drip tip adapter, um, yeah, which is just Delrin. You get a, a bunch of grub screws, as you can see, in various very you get flat head ones and you get allen key head ones and there's your 510 um, bottom feeder squonk pin that you can replace with the 510 in the actual mod pin mod in the uh, in the RDA and that allows you then to use it on a squonk device. That's it, nothing else in the box. Let's pop all that pin back in. I did try the narrower 810 uh, rip tip in there and uh, let me just show you let me just fit in there you go personally I'm not a fan I don't know I just don't like the narrow ones I prefer the goon star so in the box it goes for a rainy day in case I lose this one and this one does actually you know the ultimate one it does look nice uh, on the gold, so there we go. Um, right, let's have a look at the uh, airflow. As I say, you can. It's quite stiff when you get it, when you first get it, but you can turn the airflow and you can cover one hole. You can turn it a bit more and it covers half of the T shape, so you only get an L shape. Or an R shape. <laughs> you can turn it again a bit more and you get one hole. I don't know who would use that maybe if you I don't know you could probably do MTL on this tank um, with the right coils in there. Um, no air, air holes whatsoever. I suppose that's fine for transporting you know so you don't get any juice coming out. I think the beauty of all these air holes is even if you do over squonk or you do over fill it, um, drip it, even with all the air holes open it, it's going to be more difficult for the juice to come out as it would on, another, you know, on a normal type of RDA where you've got a big slot for the juice just to, to slop out. Um, it's quite difficult for you know VG juice which is quite thick to to come out of these little holes easily. I mean it will eventually obviously but it probably won't come out as much. Now twisting the air hole again this is what I like it's it's releasing one hole at a time. How, how cool is that? So you can really be specific. You know there's four, there's five. That's probably what I would use it which they call the six pack because it's like well yeah it looks like a six pack um, so yeah I'm gonna leave it on there but I think all the other holes just release one at a time so you you know you've got what six you've got ten different well more than that really you've got ten plus all you know the ones I showed you earlier configurations of, of airflow which is phenomenal really for a little device so that's a brilliant um, design idea um, the top is removable but this is very stiff and it's going to take some removing let me get the top off if I just get my little rubber vape grips which I've had for a million years uh, it just allows me to grip things I have to hold the bottom as well because that's falling out of my hands but people use washing up gloves, you know, rubber gloves. That's the uh, the top of the the tank, and it's got a bell shaped uh, star inside, which is apparently is good for flavour. And uh, that's brilliant. Look at that. that. That's that's the configuration how your air hole, you know, your airflow works. Um, it's a step design which works perfectly with the with the holes. Um, yeah. Have a look at the 
the bottom tank on the deck. He says it might be easier if I push it out. There you go, it's really nice and clean. Um, no sharp edges whatsoever on it. Well machined. Let's put that there. And then we'll have a look at the deck. And there's your four post configuration deck. You've got two O rings there to keep it nice and sealed. Um, you can see, yeah, these are your positive side, which is held. Oops, sorry, wrong way. It might be actually that that might be the positive and that's a negative. I'm not sure, uh, but one of those you can release that screw at the bottom, and then you can remove the posts and it's insulated. So your positive side is insulated. I'd say this is the positive side actually. Anyway, you got your four. They're flat head screws that are in there, but as I say in the pack in your box, you've got your um, Allen key head grip screw spares, which you can swap out if you prefer. Uh, these posts are quite high and you've got a lot of room underneath. I like the way they've shaped underneath the posts um, because the way you drop your coils in would be across this way. So from negative to positive. Okay? And then your your trailing legs from your coils will drop into the little shaped um, cutouts of the legs there so you can easily get your wire snips inside there and trim those tails off uh, so that's a great idea another good design and it's got a fairly decent deep uh, juice well in the base of this so you could get you know a fair bit of dripping going on in there um, when the bottom feeding five ten pins in there it actually sits up quite high as well so when you squonk your juice it's going to come up through the pin and then back into the well and then when you lose your squonk bottle it's not going to suck all the juice back into the squonk bottle that you, uh, you've just squonked in which is a great idea as well so but I'm not going to show that in this video um, yeah I think they're stainless steel screws, grub screws, they're not gold plated um, yeah that's about it really so I think it's uh, your coils as I say they drop in which is I think where the name of the the, the, uh, the RDA has come from called the drop so you drop drop your coils in um, and I'll do that very shortly but you can do multiple configurations of coils in this thing you can do you know your standard two coil dual coils you can do one coil a short coil or you can do one coil Across the diagonal, um, you can put multiple coils below, so you can have a coil below going be pushed down underneath. Um, you can have uh, one above, so you could actually have four coils in this as well if you wanted to. I suppose um, not brave enough to try that myself, but um, I mean, so far it looks decent. Uh, as I say, lots of people have been reviewing it uh, and they sing its praises. So. We'll get a couple of coils in this in next and see how we go. Hi guys, right, so I've got my uh, 521 plus tab from Coil Master here ready to with the RDA on there. Let's just bring it on nice and tight. I've undone all the four grub screws. Let me just undo that one a little bit more. Without making myself look daft. It's a little bit too far. Okay, so coils I'm going to be using today are the Alien, uh, these are stainless steel 316L, seven wraps coming out or should come out at 0.11 ohms. They're made by Peter at Homemade Coils, which is a Facebook page, and it's spelled O H M made coils so he's a really good chap 24 hour turnaround decent prices and the coils look the bollocks to be honest so these are aliens as I say they've got dual core in there uh, two cores I think or maybe even three uh, yeah three cores in that 
in there. So, okay, let's try. We'll do a dual coil on this, uh, just standard dual coil. Um, just get my post thing. Need a little bit wide. screwed up. I can actually put that in the other way so I can screw them up. And give it a good give it a good screw in as they say. And put these good screws in nice and tight. I think the beauty about these posts as well is that they're square. So if you've got flat coils they're not going to get twisted. Uh, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna screw and flush to the flat edge of the post deck. Probably could have done with a bigger, bigger boat or screwdriver. Okay, so what we can do is move that over now and give it a bit more of a tighten. Okay, that looks mighty fine. I might push it back towards this way a bit more. Okay, let's just flick the O meter on one way. Okay, that's coming out point one six. So you know, dual coil. It's going to come out crazy. Uh, well, whatever it's going to come out, of, let's give it a bit of a pulse because it is a tight coil. Now I've got a low battery. Let's, let me just uh, quickly flip the batteries out of this. Bada bing. .17, which I'm guessing for when I ordered them, I ordered them as 0 .11. I'm guessing when you put two in here, because he sells them in pairs, that it's going to come out to what I wanted to. So let's give it a strong Get my tweezers. Let's turn it around so you can see. And we've got some lovely hot spots going on. Let's give it a bit of a pinch. to be glowing. Typical stainless steel, it does shoot up on the ohms uh, when they get some heat through them. So, you know, it's 0.23, two of these in here, which I'll put the other one in a second, will be coming out at 0.11, which is what, you know, what I ordered. Um, so, fair play to Peter there. They're pretty much bang on the ohms that he said. Let's pop this one in and get this done. Now this is where I touch the other coil with my finger and burn the fuck out of myself. So I won't do that. I'll get you, get you in, and you in. Ah, did you see that? That was my skin. Fucking, no, not really. Well, of course, of course, it's doing that to me.
the idea is you want to get your coil sitting as much above the posts as you can um, bearing in mind you don't want to be touching or coming to the edges of the deck and that's looking okay I think because you've got to get your cotton in there and your cotton's going to you know, be sitting in these wells either side and they're quite high so there's quite a lot going on there some people move the coils down into the middle but we'll see what this is like uh, let's just check the, the ohms coming out at 0 0.08 which you'll find when I fire it and got rid of the hot spots it will be more like what I'm expecting so we just got to get rid of some of these hot spots There we go, as I say, if you can read that, I don't know, it's 0.12 ohms, which is what we want for the two coils. Let's just give them a pulse. Lovely jibbly. Might tighten that side up a little bit. About that the video decided to turn itself off so it would probably hit 4 gig <laughs> so I've got my Muji cut to about 15 to 18 mil what I do then is I take off the top and bottom layers because they're quite thick and matted um, this is easier said than done but you, you should be able to do it you've done it a week before so you just pull those off dead easy same with this one. That's a nice thin one, which is good. And uh, then I do a Scottish roll, thinking, Donald, where's your trousers? While I'm doing it, let the wind and lie, let the wind and roll around the street and your table and all the lucky sea ho. Okay, that's enough of that. Right, snake the end. I usually pinch the end bit off because. It's a fiddly thing. Get it in there, and of course, you need a bit tighter to get it through. Come on, out you come. There's my tweezers. There we go. So I pull it. I tend to pull it backwards and forwards a little bit. Uh, it's quite stiff but it's not rammed in there um, do the same for the other side take the top top layer and the bottom layer of the cotton off Okay, I'll do another Scottish roll. And this time I'm not going to sing Donald Where's Your Trousers. Okay, so let's get that end. I'll take a bit of it off. Make it easier to, to get through. I 
did that first one so well. This isn't working, I can tell. You've almost got to create your own needle shape with these wicks to pull them through. And again, nice and you know, nice and tough but not stuck in there. Okay, so next job, get your pair of tweezers, hold the one end, lightly fluff, put the same on the back one while I'm there. Okay, flip him round, hold the back one, lightly fluff. So I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut it about you know, just under two centimetres. Same with this front one here. Okay. And what we can do is cut about the bottom of the deck. So it's about here. So there you go. What's that? 15 mil. So I'll do the same on this side. We have C D that. <laughs> Turn them around and same on this side. Same on this side. Okay. We'll just tuck them with some tweezers into the juice well, like so. Same with that one, just tuck it inside, and it should then touch the bottom of the juice well. Round, go up that, tuck him inside, and the same with that one, nice and easy, tucked inside. Okay, and there we have it. Now we'll get some juice and get him juiced up. So I'm going to be using my favourite juice uh, so far at the moment, which is Taste of Gods by Illusion Vapors or Illusions Vapor, which is a coconut, blackcurrant, and pineapple uh, juice, and it's absolutely gorgeous stuff. So let's just get some juice juice dripped onto these aliens and onto the cotton itself. Okay. Give it a little pulse just to suck the juice in. Juiced up and a couple of drops inside there. Next, I suppose I better put the top on how I want it. So, yeah, I'm going to put the top on in the six. Is it six? I don't know how they do it, I don't know how they do it now. Yeah, I think that's right, because when I shut it, come here. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I'm going to have mine in the six pack configuration. There we go. And now we can drop that on, and you can see. Let me just turn off that. You can see there's the cutouts that should match the. Tats on the back and sides. So if we shove that down. Now hopefully, I haven't got any of the touches, but test it. It's still 0.9. Seems to be okay. Plenty of vapour coming out of there. Okay, that seems okay. Pop the top back on. Right, next we'll take it up top, give it a bit of a, a rip. Okay guys, right, okay, I've got this wicked up, got it on my uh, SX Mini G Class, uh, stuck it into temp control mode, got it at 35, 36 joules, and temperature is set to around 465 Fahrenheit. Uh, G Class is reporting at 0.1 ohms, which is about right, so let's have a vape. flavours there. I can taste a bit of the cotton because it's new cotton but uh, after a couple of vapes that will uh, go away and the flavour will be full. So. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, let's fill the, the actual RDA does get a little warm um the Delrin dip trip or the Ultram dip trip drip tip does help um, keep the warmth away which is why I suppose they give you the uh, the longer thinner drip tip uh, to keep your lips away from the actual RDA itself uh, I've dripped Let me put a few more drops of juice one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me a tissue. Just give that a bit of a squiggle. Okay. Let's try again. Very nice flavour. Quite warm, but lots of vapour. Very nice flavour. This does get hot. I'll pre warn you now in dual coil mode at 0.1 ohms. I haven't even got the watts high, you know, it's 36 joules. Um, I prefer temp control but it is stainless steel so keeps the flavour. I'm getting no flavour of cotton anymore so that is bang on. Okay so thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this review and want to see some more please like and subscribe this video. Um, my next one actually will be coming up soon and that is the uh, Hell Vape Dead Rabbit SQ which is the 24 mil uh, version sorry the 22 mil version um, and it's uh, a single coil only build um, and it's built for squonking
so but you can use it as a normal RDA but more on that in the next review thanks <laughs>